This season of Chicago PD, it has taken a closer look at national issues. Tonight's mm -hmm. episode focuses on police brutality, and you felt the intensity in that scene Just right there. Just in that 15-second clip right there. That's so the storyline, it centers yeah. around the character of Atwater, played by Leroy Hawkins, and he's here with us right now. Woo! Good morning. Uh, good morning to you both Thanks ladies. Thanks for coming in today. Now, thank you all for having so me. talk to us about what we're going to see tonight. Well, you're going to see, um, believe it or not, that's actually a, an old college buddy of mine, Mickey O'Sullivan, who played that uh, oh, cool. racist cop so well. <laughs> He's not no. like that in real life. Oh, no, absolutely not. No, him and I, we met each other uh, back at speech. Like in Oakland, we competed against each other, so that oh, was just okay. a dope to have that moment with him. But, um, but now, th this episode is extremely important. I'm, I'm excited that um, and grateful to be on a TV show that's going to tell this story. You yeah. know, I, I'm not sure of any um, television show, whether it's on network or cable, that's really tackling this issue the way we're about to. Um, yes, we struggle uh, with the character that you know, is riding that line between the black and the blue, right? Yeah. What, what mm -hmm. community, um, whether it's cops um, or, or his culture, is he going to show loyalty to? But I also think it has a lot to do with uh, power mm. and, yeah. and, and yeah. how politics can, um, can, can, can abuse power and make, uh, you know, and, and make the difference between the truth and the right thing to do a hard decision to make. Because we hear, we see it firsthand in Chicago, mm -hmm. you know, the tense, the, in, the, the tenseness between the, uh, police as well as the community. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's a relationship that needs work and it needs some love and some nourishing. Um, but you're presenting it on screen, on mm -hmm. television from another perspective that we don't always get to hear because police officers aren't allowed to speak out on certain mm -hmm. issues right. that are affecting them. So yeah. you kind of serve as a voice representing a black police officer, a black man, but also so a police officer where yeah. like do you find a conflict right there naturally and, and I'm grateful to bridge that gap you know um, I, I grew up in Harvey where um, you know I, I didn't grow up necessarily respecting or appreciating cops the way mm -hmm. that I do now mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and and I like to think that everybody wants to go home at the end of the night yeah. you know and, um, and and what I've learned on this job is that whether you're black or white um, or blue you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. it's it's very gray when you get into the details mm. of how we um, just do our best with these decisions. You know, I'm pretty sure um, that, that that racist cop that Mickey O'Sullivan portrays was doing his best to, uh, to, to just handle the situation the way he knows how. Yeah. Atwater had to handle the situation that he knows how. And it's like, nobody's wrong, nobody's right. Mm -hmm. It gets extremely complicated. And I think Eric LaSalle did a great job at, of directing an episode that shows those uh, complexities. I think Ike Smith, who's the first black writer that we've had, um, you know, do an episode at this capacity on Chicago PD, mm -hmm. did a great job telling his story. Um, and, and we just worked hard and did our best to keep it as authentic as we could. And what, you grew up in Harvey. What were your experiences like growing up? Oh, no, yeah, I, I've definitely been, um, you know, stopped and pulled over by cops, black and white, where, you know, the, the tone has been uh, or felt egregious, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I, and, and I just like to think that, you, th that that's a culture to be a cop, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's a brotherhood yeah. that's extremely tight. Um, our, our, our brotherhoods and our communities are extremely tight as well, mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And so um, there doesn't have to be a war going on necessarily if, if, if we can find common ground. I like to think that this episode helps us do that. Yeah. To lighten it up just a little bit, you yeah. worked with Eric LaSalle, you just mentioned it, uh -huh. but I just want to know what that was like because he's coming from ER, another long time running yeah. series, a drama. What was that like? Man, it's, it, it's amazing. His, his excitement for the job still, um, you know, with as long as he's been in the business, is, is contagious. You know, he when, when he's directing an episode, um, you know, everybody feels like it's going to be something magical and special. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I love working for him. Okay, can you bring him back next time? Yeah. Naturally, I, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I can see if you wouldn't wake up this early. I'll wake up early. <laughs> we have to wrap here, but you have something else coming up, right? A mixtape? Oh, yeah, I'm working on a mixtape. Oh, it's Black gosh. History specific. Um, it's called Amazing Groove. And uh, I like to think that it's going to be the love letter that the black woman never received. You'll come back love and talk it. about that. I'll yeah, come back come and talk about that. that I'm out. definitely down. All right. Well, the new episode of Chicago PD, it airs tonight at 9 p.m. on NBC, so don't miss it.